Hi there, Lee Griggs, hard rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through this pixel art style using the Toon Shader in Arnold. Just give you this 8-bit, 16-bit look to the render. Uh, we'll go through using Sven. You can download the Sven model from the Hyperspace Madness page on the Autodesk area website. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so we've got a Sven model here. Let me start off by assigning Toon Shader. Uh, by the way, the scene is lit by a directional light, distant light. This is important for the look we're going for. For example, if you go to the team documentation page, an example, uh, this tune shader is lit using a skydome light, which gives this soft shading, which we don't want. We want this directional hard lighting without any interpolation. So, yeah, you want either a directional light or a spotlight, something without any area size. So, for the tune shader, uh, I'm just going to reduce the specular a bit and change the base color to a flesh color. And then I want to create an RGB ramp. I'm going to connect that to the, the tone map, base tone map, um, and the specular tone map as well. Okay, so base tone map. If you look at the ramp, we need to make sure the interpolation is set to none. That'll give us the hard look to the ramp that we want. Just give these a kind of a brown shading. I'll put another one in here, make it a bit lighter. We just rename that to, to base and just duplicate that, call that specular. And again, do the same thing for specular, so just connect that to the specular tone map. Now you see we're getting better specular highlights. I'm just going to delete one of these just to create a better look. You can adjust these to how you want. You can also adjust the roughness, specular roughness, to kind of increase the size specular highlight. So that's the skin. Just duplicate that and use that for the hair. Just select the eyebrows and the hair and assign that. And then we need to change the hair colour, make it darker. And then just connect those same ramps to the base in the specular tone map. Just so you can see there, base tone map. And maybe we don't want any specular on there actually on the hair, so I'll just turn the spec it off. And then we'll do the same for his bodysuit. So, base tone map, spec tone map. And just change the base color. Make sure you assign it. Just make that black. For the suit. And then, just lastly, for the eyes, we'll um, duplicate that again for the eyes. So, duplicate the two shade for the eyes. But this time, we're going to use a circular ramp. Uh, so, ramp RGB. Connect that to the base color. Change the ramps type to circular. Sign it to the eyes. And then set the interpolation to none. Oh, we need to make sure we've got a UV transform. Um, between the ramp and the eyes, so let's drag that onto there, and then on the UV transform, drag that into the input. There you go. And then just add a bit of brown in there for the iris. And make sure there's some specular. 
You notice on the shading we haven't got a specular tone map or a, or a base tone map rather. So I'm just going to add another ramp for the base tone map. Make sure that's set to none. Light grey. Okay, it's starting to look good. It's looking a bit scared, so I'm just going to reduce, change some of these a little bit, tweak these. Right, so and then finally, to get that sort of pixelated pixel art style look, we can go to negative values for the camera array. So maybe 16 bit, minus 1. Minus three would be eight bit. Something in between minus two, and uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.